Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the <laughs> Comfort Level Podcast. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with Alejandra, Brando, Sam. There's a big elephant in the room right now. We just learned about this right before the recording started. Um, Popeyes is something near and dear to a lot of people in this podcast, but one certain person has never been. I like Popeyes. To yeah. Popeyes, uh, it's pretty good. Would you like to raise your hand who has not been to Popeyes? Whoever has been victimized by Sam, <laughs> raise their hand. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. that, there's a I long have. line. <laughs> yeah, I have, too. <laughs> How did you victimize yourself? I just was bad. <laughs> I'm not good. That was smooth, though. That was I like the way you got out of it. She turned that around so fast. I'm... Sam's shocked. He's just laughing now. Sam's I'm like, freaking out. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So did you want to hear about a Popeye story since you've never been to Popeye's? Yeah. Maybe that way I can give you to want to go. Well, that way I can have a uh, unbiased opinion if it's related to their experience. Oh. Well, that's the difference. Popeye's universally has the worst customer service of any Horrible. fast food restaurant ever. It's going to hurt your feelings if you go there because, like, <laughs> you know, if you go there, they're going to mess up your order. You go back. They, they give you an attitude. They will mess up your order. They will mess up your order. But so the, order the, what I don't want to get what I want? No, that's too risky because yeah. then they'll give you exactly that. Yeah. If you don't want it, they'll somehow know that and give you the thing that you don't want. Yeah. So first story. <gasps> Am I the asshole for giving my brother a chicken sandwich for Christmas? <laughs> no, I would do that. <laughs> my sister gave me an avocado once. Oh my so, God. was it before or after the infamous video? After. <laughs> did you say it? But, I mean, yeah, I did say it. I used to, no, a chicken sandwich? I mean, yeah, no. We eat tamales for three days, so I would be happy with a chicken sandwich on Christmas Day. Take a break from that. I think that's a great gift. Yeah, if it's a Popeye's chicken sandwich, that's it's a hundred percent a great gift. I like how nobody's even considering like how old the sandwich is. Like that's kind of what I'm thinking in the back of my head is like, how old is this sandwich? How old is mm. bad? Um, I mean, if it's what do you mean? Oh, how old is a bad chicken sandwich? What's your old? version of a chicken a sandwich you would still eat it yeah popeyes is that great yeah i would eat a chi popeyes chicken sandwich after i would eat a popeyes chicken sandwich after a week am i the asshole for giving my brother a chicken sandwich for christmas every year my parents hold a gift exchange at their home on christmas eve and my oldest brother and i always give each other thoughtful but funny gifts this year he became vegan <laughs> oh <laughs> Because his wife wanted them to follow a new diet, something he complied with despite not liking it. For our gift exchange, I decided to buy him two Popeye's chicken sandwiches since he did not get to participate in all the hype and a new PS4 controller. Before the exchange, my girlfriend and I bought the sandwiches, put them in an insulated bag, and wrapped the bag. Mm. When my brother unwrapped his gift, he was confused about why I got him a bag until I told him to open it. And when he saw the sandwiches, he started to laugh hysterically <laughs> and immediately unwrapped one of them and ate it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the gift was a big hit, except to my sister-in-law. Afterward, she scolded me by saying she didn't appreciate me giving my brother food that goes against her beliefs. I told her that my brother is an adult and that he can make his own decisions and it made him happy. Besides, I wasn't even thinking about her beliefs when I did it. She turned bright red and stormed off. Later, I got a text from my brother telling me he was in hot water for eating the sandwiches. <laughs> he ate both of them. Oh, my God. But he didn't care. He appreciated the gift regardless. Now, the topic of conversation in our family group chat is some people are saying it was insensitive to my sister-in-law to get my brother th the sandwiches when others think it was brilliant. So, Reddit, what is your opinion? I think the title should be, Is My Sister-in-Law an Asshole for Controlling When My Brother Eats? Oh, no. shots fired. <laughs> shots I, fired. Like, you can't be mad at what he eats. Yeah. You can. Well, you can, but... Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if you want to do a diet, 
that's cool, but don't force other people to. I don't know. It's it's interesting because Reddit rated him an asshole, but I'm <laughs> like, I don't know. The more I read it, I was like, it is lighthearted, and the brother. I think I feel like the person who you're doing a joke to, to a certain extent, if they're okay with it, then it's right, fine. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily like he wanted to stop eating chicken because of himself. He wanted to support his girlfriend or wife. And so, I don't know, I think him eating one or two chicken sandwiches is the not the worst thing in the world. Both of them is crazy. <laughs> he <laughs> laughed and ate it. That's he amazing. He both of them. He said, my brother. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my brother in Christ. <laughs> That's but, how you know that man was struggling yeah. for some chicken. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, thank you. He was laughing. He had tears of joy. Yeah. No, I bet the wife was mad because she probably wanted to eat the other one. She's mm. like... He ate both of them. <laughs> Popeye's chicken sandwich will make vegans and vegetarians want to eat meat. That's how good a chicken sandwich from Popeye's is. I wonder if there's anybody in the in the comments or that's watching this video that is a vegan or vegetarian now and they've mm. tried a Popeye's sandwich. What do you guys think? Is it worth is it worth going back just to eat the sandwich again? Or are you like, no, I wouldn't do it? I kind of wonder. Because none of us are vegan or vegetarian yeah. here. So, so of course, we're going to be like, uh, yeah, eat the sandwich, you know? The only thing I think, I think vegans are, like, lying to themselves a little bit. Mm-hmm. I get doing it for the health reasons and, like, you, you care about animals and you don't want to hurt them. But for the taste, if you eat, look at all the vegan products they have, they're all trying to taste like meat. Like, they have things that taste like chicken. They have things that taste like beef because that's what tastes good. And they make their vegan things try to taste like the things they can't eat. They know chicken is good. They just don't eat it for other reasons. If they were like, no, vegan stuff is better. No, it's not. Vegan chicken is not better than real chicken. I feel like that take is cancelable. That's that's real. (laughs) Ask out. Challenge vegans out there. I was going to say, I was like, I feel like that take is controversial, <laughs> but me being somebody that, hey, hold, hold on. Yeah. Somebody that likes to eat meat. Yo, yeah. pause, hey. pause, pause. Hey, yeah, chill, uh, chill, Chicken chill. eater, chicken eater. <laughs> chill. And um, <laughs> somebody that enjoys chicken, mm. you know, me, because I think me and Brandon, when we were fasting meat for like a week or something, we went to a vegan or vegetarian restaurant. Facts. And we got something with tofu, and I think it was like a like a. Oh no, it wasn't. It, it was it was supposed to be like a cheese. It was cauliflower. Well, mm. well, you got ca- cauliflower wings, but there was mm. something that we got where it was like a mozzarella ball. It was supposed to be cheese, and you dip it in marinara, but it was all tofu. Or no, it was cashew. Yeah, it was cashew because I can't eat cashew tofu. something. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was, but it, it was, was cashew. I couldn't I couldn't get behind the texture of the cashew right? whatever. I couldn't do it. I, I had the same experience doing like when uh, doing the fasting with vegan stuff and you get I tried this bean thing which actually was good because beans were like very good but the vegan cheese I'm like I feel bad for you you guys have to make these things up <laughs> this is not cheese it's awful it tastes bad but just so you feel like the rest of us are normal people yeah oh my god Dang. I said it we're normal <laughs> You have I to guess make this. The mess. lactose intolerant people left the chat. That's They're crazy. Out. <laughs> <They're> out. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I will say though, veggie burgers, fire. Never tried one. They're really good. It's like Do you prefer a veggie burger over a regular burger? Heck no. Okay. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it it was it's weird because when you bite into it, you don't expect much, but then you think about it, it's all vegetables. So, like, the flavor is there. It's just not the flavor you would expect from a burger. But it's really good still. Actually, I realized the reason why they called him an asshole is because the top comment is, you're the asshole now because I want a chicken sandwich. Oh. Oh. See, they all still agree, though. Yeah, everyone agrees. (laughs) Do you see any vegan comments in there? Does anyone say this was disrespectful to them? No, vegans. people are just being like, those sandwiches are incredible. <laughs> yeah, people love it's just things. hungry people in the comments. 100% approval people. rating for chicken sandwiches, Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Yeah. All right, next story. <laughs> 
Am I the asshole for asking for the gift receipt to return offensive baby clothes? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. I think you should always keep the gift receipt in with clothes. That's like a thing. You yeah, that's do. like so basic gift giving one on one. Yeah, you're not an asshole for asking for it. I keep reading it. I, Sorry. I think it de- it depends who you give it to. Yeah. Because I don't, I I don't give gift receipts. I mean, it's a gift you I'm like, giving you. If you, you like, like it, it, you like it. If you don't, I'm sorry. It's a Whoa. thought that counts. Well, because I think I've been watching a lot of videos where they're talking about like people's backs are widening. You know, they're getting fatter. <laughs> oh, and so the gift receipt kind of helps you. Like. I got this size for you, and maybe mm-hmm. maybe it don't fit you no more. You need to take it back. I think that's why it's just a nice thing to give. But I get not giving, like, hey, this is a gift I got you. If you like it, you like it. Every time you guys give gifts, then you guys always give the gift receipt? For clothes, I do. Yeah, for clothes. I don't really give a lot of gifts yeah, like Maddie's that. Maddie's never like, given a gift <laughs> Like, I usually give people, like, food or money or... I don't give people clothes. I don't really mm-hmm. go shopping. Mm-hmm. I feel like the only times I've ever gotten people clothes, it was Brandon and it was like an online order. You got me the shirt. Yeah, but I can't. I, we can't take that back. You know, it's a custom, it's a you custom thing. You did try. I knew it. You tried. I called them. They said I it. The truth comes out. <laughs> Am I the asshole for asking for the gift receipt to return offensive baby clothes? Yesterday, we had a baby shower. Long story short, one of our family friends thought it would be funny to get some baby onesies with offensive things written on it. For example, (laughs) all daddy wanted was a (laughs) blowjob. Or, I'm with the MILF. (laughs) Or, to-do list, eat, poop, and suck some titties. No! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there were two more but i don't remember what they said and when i opened the gift i was humiliated i thought it was really inappropriate before people on here give me more shit about not being able to take a joke i just didn't really think it was the funniest joke i was mad about the gift because as i was opening and before i could ask before i could read what they said i unfolded the onesie and showed the rest of the party <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> some people Uh, let out a small chuckle and some people looked around at each other kind of surprised anyhow at the end of the party i asked the person who gave it to me if i could have the gift receipt to return them i said i definitely wouldn't put my baby in those clothes the person basically called me oversensitive and said i needed to take a joke i handed the gift bag back to them and said all right well then you can keep these they were super offended by that and thought it was an ungrateful gesture am i the asshole the first one I read, the first one I said, oh my God. Imagine your baby just saying that. Like, that's just like on your baby. Wait, what was the first one? Um, All dad, all daddy wanted was a blowjob. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's wild. Oh my God, that's horrible. That's so bad. I think the worst <laughs> part is, with a joke, everybody's supposed to laugh. Yeah. But you spent money for that joke. <laughs> like, <laughs> Kind of makes it funnier to me. That makes it horrible. <laughs> That's a waste of money. If you if you wanted to do it, like maybe if it was on clearance or something, I can understand. <laughs> but like to just go out there and buy something of that caliber, just to be, oh, it was a joke, but keep it. No. <laughs> what? What are we doing? Well, I feel like that had to be customized. So it probably was even <laughs> more than just your normal. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm like. You don't just find that at the store. Yeah, who, if that was just uh, at Target, yeah, they just had that. Target would have. Then Target's like the problem because they're <laughs> selling that. But yeah, it probably was customized. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of those specific. The blowjob one is crazy. The blowjob one is crazy. The milf one, I feel like you kind of get away I feel like with I've that seen one. Something like the milf one. I've definitely seen the suck some titties one. That one, I'm like that one. That maybe, was funny. You maybe. gotta wear that. Yeah, uh, mommy. He milkers. might wear that inside the house and take a picture with a uh, dad or something. But the milf one, the kid's not gonna read that and be like, you know, I know I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's just really like weird and inappropriate to just be like. There's just a kid and just his blow job on the kid. I'm like, that's weird. I don't know. Some of the, some of the humor, it's like, I feel like you shouldn't 
associate some sexual jokes with kids. Wait, how old was everybody? How old was this? These people did it say their age. Um, I don't think it matters. I don't, yeah, I didn't. How give old an age. they are? I don't think it matters, but it, it kind of puts me in the head space of when I was younger. Those kinds of jokes were funny. You're like, <laughs> the shirt says boobs on it, <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> But like you grow out of that, you're like that's stupid. Wearing shirts that say a thing that's like, that's funny. You you age out of that. That's why I'm like, I wonder if they're like early twenties. This is like a baby having teen parents. 20s. Yeah, our <laughs> teens are like, I got this funny thing. And they're gonna crack up. You're like, we're forty five, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> why did you buy this for me? I feel like a Susan would buy something like Susan that. Susan loves that kind of stuff. This would be a, a Tyler would buy this. Oh, yeah. yeah I can see Tyler like a Blade. Is that a name? <laughs> I've never <laughs> made a Blade. Have you met a Blade? No, I just I was trying to think of a teenage boy from the 90s. <laughs> I just think of the Vampire you Slayer. Blade. <laughs> or the 2000s. I don't know. You picked the Vampire Hunter <laughs> himself. Blade. <laughs> I think that I agree with that. Like if if I showed that at a baby shower where there's most likely my mom or like even my partner's parents and they see that, that would be very weird. But I would not go and say, give me the gift receipts so that I can exchange it. And actually, like, you're practically saying that way I can get something. Right. Like, in that case, like, it's a gift. I think if people want to give you something, they give you something. If they don't, they don't. So, like, I feel like I would not do that. I would just probably. Maybe if, say, like, oh, you should have warned me that something like that was there. That way I didn't show it to little kids or whoever that was there. But I don't think I would ask for that gift receipt yeah. back. I would just kind of be like, ha <laughs> <laughs> Put it away and So we're on. both having the same response. We're like, ah. hey. so, Yeah. Yeah. Well, because I'm 100% will get you guys on Mommy Milkers. Like, if you don't think I am going to... <laughs> then you're crazy if you don't think I'm going to buy that. Just so you guys know, already uh, ahead of time, I'm so getting get a, a mommy milkers onesie. So I'll just look for the gift that's from Sam and we just throw that in the fireplace or something. I'll get, no. I'll get fake names. I'll, <laughs> I'm getting my gift out there. It's from Susan. We're yeah. like, hey, who's this? <laughs> like, Blade. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> from Blade. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Not the asshole. Don't give people joke presents if you're not sure how they'll react. Also, sexualizing a baby like that is kind of weird and definitely not a joke most people would be okay with. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of like those like YouTubers who like say all these outrageous things. You're like, it's funny. You're like, no, it's offensive. Just because you're saying it's a joke doesn't mean make it less offensive. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And some people get off on that. They're like, no one can take a joke anymore. And you're like, well, you said this off the wall, really horrible thing. I didn't like it. It's not because I'm sensitive. It's because you said a bad thing. That's bad. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend that I told her so after one of her male friends tried to get with her? He's like, hey, I told you that man was trying to get with you. She's like, no, he's just a friend. I've seen so many TikToks like that. It's so annoying because it's usually the guys are like, "You trust your, you trust your girlfriend," and the guy's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Do you, do you trust your male friend, girl?" And she's like, "Yeah." And then they do the whole test thing, and then every single time, dude's like, "Oh yeah," I like, it'd be like some weird prompt like, "I'm trying to hang out. My boyfriend is not doing whatever." Blah blah blah. And he's like, "Oh, like come come through the night." And it's like every single, it's never been one where it's like, hey, yo, you tripping. And they just hang up. I just, I hate this trope so much. It's so weird. I don't know, though. I don't know. It depends on how he did it. <laughs> I don't necessarily think, I don't know, like, I mean, I don't think it makes you an asshole for saying, no, I told you so. I was right. Seems Stating like you probably a fact. say that a lot. It seems like you're with those kinds of things. <laughs> like, well, I did tell you. <laughs> No. <laughs> I don't believe that no. Yeah, the way it was not a believable no. That was a... No. Is that better? 
No. no, it, <laughs> no. If anything, it regressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it's different if like, because there needs to be more context. Like, did he say it for multiple time and had he seen something that maybe she said, oh, no, it's no big deal. But maybe he had already kind of hinted off, you know? So. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're like, I'm under so much pressure. It's like, mm. I don't think so. It's I mean, okay. Am I the asshole for telling my girlfriend that I told her so after one of her male friends tried to get with her? My girlfriend and I have been together for about a year now. My girlfriend has a more than a few guy friends, and I'm not one of those guys that thinks men and women can't be friends. However, with two of these guys, it's very clear that they want more than just friendship from her. Like, clear as day to the point where I don't know how she doesn't see it. If I can notice just by the weird energy they try to exude when I'm present, she should be able to as well, right? Wrong. Anytime I have pointed this out, she gets upset with me and she tells me that I'm being jealous and reading into things that aren't there. I argue back that I'm just letting her know as a guy I could probably tell much better than she could since women tend to be a little slow when regarding things like this. So two nights ago, she was hanging out with her friends and this guy was present. And from what she told me, they were all drinking and he said some things that implied that he wanted to be with her. She was made uncomfortable by this and the night ended shortly afterwards. Fast forward to yesterday morning, she got a series of texts apologizing for what he said and then backpedaling and saying he would treat her so much better than me. And she's Ooh. wasting her time with me. Oh. And she, of course, said no and was upset with him. After she told me, I just read the text and simply said, wow, who could have seen this coming? <laughs> okay. <laughs> a bit sarcastically. This set her off and she got mad. She said that I was being such a huge asshole to her and she had no way of seeing this coming. She's been pissed at me ever since. Am I the asshole? Are they still together? This was from like <clears throat> four, four to 11 hours ago. Oh. So I'm assuming it's maybe just a fight and yeah, we'll see. Especially since she was like, how could anyone have seen this coming? It's impossible. That he was like, I told you this. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I'm not saying all women, maybe I am. But when my boyfriend, I don't know what's the word, like, would give me, like, one time we were in cross country and he was like, Oh, do you want me to give you a ride? And I was like, no, I live down the block. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but that was his way of like hanging out. So. Oh, he was trying to spit some game. Yeah. And me. No, I live two blocks away. Thank you. Kept walking. <laughs> so that's why I laugh. I find that funny. He's like, yeah, we're better slow and catching on. And I just thought about that. I'm like, oh, yeah. Because it, it, it reminds me a lot of like. Me and Mama G's relationship. Like, oh my god! We're in that same stage. <laughs> we're like, do we want to admit it to ourselves or do? We... <laughs> Did he just? Mean... I'll find out tomorrow. Do we want to admit it to ourselves or like, how do we want to do? <laughs> okay, I need to hear some honest feedback from you boys. Okay, this is a man talking about his girlfriend. Okay. Okay. What I did you think this. about the story? So. From what part? Like what the guy did who likes her or what the boyfriend did? Well, I know me and Alejandra, we, we can definitely talk about this from the girl's perspective, but from the boy's perspective, anything that you took away, anything where you're like, yeah, no, that's true or that's happened to me, like. Nine times out of ten, boys know. Yeah. And the fact that he called it out like right away. He knew. And I think the problem is, oh, girl is like, no, you're crazy. Like, what are you what are you even thinking of? Because he knows he knew exactly what was going down and was like, I will not stand for this and try to call it out. Now, that was on her to either believe or if she didn't agree with it, to talk about it more mm -hmm. to try and see common ground. But the end of the day he was like i told you so it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do like how he approached it because I, I feel like the most times in these kind of stories were like the guy's like 
this dude likes you. I don't want you hanging out with him. Like, that's where it would go. We are like, mm. I don't want you to be around him because he likes you. I do like he was like, he obviously trusts her. So he told her, like, hey, he likes you. But I'm like, that doesn't mean you got to stop hanging out with him. I'm just telling you the game. Like, this dude wants to get with you. Mm -hmm. As long as it's like that, then I'm okay with it. I hate when people are, like, trying to keep their significant other from other people because they're scared. I'm like, if you trust your partner, it shouldn't matter if everyone's in love with your your girlfriend, your boyfriend, you should be able to trust them. And like, no, it's not going to happen. And she obviously cut it off when he tried to do more. So I don't see anything wrong with it. And I think it's funny. I definitely would have said, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> I like that point though, that he trusted her and you're like, you know, but I also think it's important. Like the fact that she, like, why would you put yourself in a situation for her to keep you in friends? Well, not stop being friends, yeah. but like still to get to that point. So everybody said, no, he's not an asshole. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Like, um, I don't I, no, I don't think he's the asshole. Um, but do you think that there's something about women where we're a lot more keen to be like, Oh, that's my friend, like with anybody. And then with like men, like men are like, I'm going to talk to her because I'm interested in her mm. more than like, is that a stereotype or would you say that that's partially like got some truth to it? I would say it has some truth to it because even what Brandon was saying, like if you if you tell a guy like who's been friend, you've been friends for 10 years with a, a girl and you're like, it's been fine. There's nothing been. But as soon as she says hey, you want to do something, they'll immediately switch, which is not necessarily the same thing for a guy and a girl. Like, a guy's like, hey, I'm interested in you, and the girl's like, no, I still just want to be friends. It doesn't necessarily go both ways. Hmm. So I do think at some point there there are some men out there like, I'm literally only being your friend at the chance when you're vulnerable and you look at me as an option. And there's some people who have that ulterior motive. And those are the same people who are like, well, I got friend zoned. Like, those are the same guys who say that kind of stuff where, like, no, you just weren't honest about what you wanted out of this relationship. You wanted to get with her, and then you get mad because you're stuck in this friend. I'm like, that's what she wanted. So that's where I'm like, I do think there are guys out there waiting. They're waiting in the wings. They're like, that's crazy. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to. It's, it's crazy. It's kind of sad, but it's a reality that happens. I would say the older you get, because right now I'm like in the mode where I'm like, I'm, I don't want new friends. Mm -hmm. So if I am talking to a girl, it is in the hopes of starting relationship. And if that's not going to happen, then I'm like, yeah, I got enough friends. So I'm not trying to make more mm. friends. How right. old are you? 32. Okay. So I'm like, I don't want to be like. Wasting your time. Waste, exactly. Wasting my time. Mm -hmm. I think when you're younger, you're like, yeah, you could generally like, I'm just making relationships, making friends. But at a certain point, you're like. You have good quality friends that you've had for a while. You're probably not going to make new ones. So me starting relationships with the opposite sex is probably not going to be very often for a friend thing. Unless it's just like a very surface level thing. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be deep friends now that I'm at my age now. Why do you say it like that? Hmm. Now that I'm at my age. <laughs> yeah. The next person I'm going to be in a deep relationship with a woman it's either going to be Mama G or your future wife. <laughs> <laughs> he said, it's either going to be Mama G or I'm going to be celibate. Yeah, pretty much. I think that's my options right now. Oh, my God. Kick it. Where's Sadia at, man? I know. Sadia would, like, mess him up because you're not going to disrespect Mama G like that. Sadia loves Mama G, too. We would probably be the same. We'd be fighting over Mama G. Sadia is in a relationship. But that's just because Mama G is not available. <laughs> Okay, well, that's gotta get cut. Yeah, that's gonna get cut. <laughs> like, it what should do you get mean? cut. I'll just then I'll tell her myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and need this video to tell her my love. You know what she's gonna do? She's gonna be flattered, and then she's gonna move on with her life, and she's gonna. I be can like, see her giggling if she sees. She's she, like, she'll teapot. She's gonna she's think like, it's cute. Yeah, she'll she's like, like, oh, that's so sweet of you. I'm like, yeah, Thanks. it is. That's mama. it. <laughs> it is sweet, Mama G. <laughs> Okay, so we're recording right now. Um, so <laughs> Sam says that he is in love with you romantically and that he... <laughs> 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 and he said that he has told you this. 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said that he has okay. told you this. Oh. Must have went over my head because I just can't believe it. See, Mama G, Mama G be playing coy like she don't know. <laughs> No, she's being nice. No, we she doesn't want to expose you. <laughs> That's what's going so on. Get him subpoenaed M&M's for that. What? Some, wait, what did you say, Mom? Tell him I'll get him subpoenaed M&M's for that. She know what I like. What, why did you say it like she that? Know <laughs> I like. What is happening? What is happening? Because <laughs> I know she it's said, his favorite. She said, oh, she said, tell him I'll get him some peanut butter M&M's for that. She did say it. She said it exactly <laughs> like that. Repeat. Peanuts, whatever they're called. Why, is, why all this peanuts? <laughs> why nuts? Because I know he likes them. That's one of his faves. This podcast like. episode she is over. I'm hanging like. up on you. <laughs> I'm hanging up on you. Bye. Okay, bye. Mama G knows what this I podcast like. episode is over. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to the Cover Level Podcast. I think this. I think we're done. I think we're officially done here. What are you gonna title this? Sam in love with my mom. <laughs> the second hand ba- embarrassment <laughs> is insane. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I could not have gone better, I think. Thank you guys so much for joining us for the Comfort Level Podcast. Uh this is a this is a defeat. This is a big this is a big loss.